Zdravo, zdravo, kako se koješ, tako je ovo pat kada kolevo muzičkata emisija Heart and Heavy. Se na ojame na mestoto zo Storsfoto, se na ojame na Alpite, na severu tot Balkanot, se na ojame vo Slovenija, se na ojame na Metal Days. Tuka sme vo backstage i tuka se našite novi sogovornici, ni do Aja, to Italija. Stanu vas za zbor za band koji nego vas suđ metal, koji ni do Aja, to trst i postoja to 2010. godina. Zad sebe ima dva obumi, jedan je ovo. EP i imame možno sega da razgovara me s onih. First of all, welcome to Macedonian TV show Heart and Heavy. Thank you. We're honored to be there. Thank you, man. Yeah, and my pleasure. And, uh, yeah, uh, tell me how many years, I think so, you started in 2010 and uh, how you started. Uh, Sorry. Uh, Uh, how many years are you and we how you started? Around, uh, 2008, 2009? 2010, 10, yes, probably, yes. Yeah, we started around this year and we make some music till now. <laughs> yeah. Well, take it the uh, name uh, Grind. Grind. Oh, yeah, it's about something, I don't know, filthy, dirt, and uh, it probably fit well with our style of music you know it's basically not clean not uh, straight ahead so it's sort of sort of a mess so it it felt like it fit well with the kind of stuff we were doing yeah. and uh, uh, tell me You have uh, two albums, the, uh, yes, and, two one EP, albums uh, and one EP. EP. The last album will be 2015. And, uh, yes, the last uh, is uh, yeah. Circle of Molesters, yeah. and since our last album, um, eight song of our pure fieldness and hate and that stuff. And now we make uh, some new music. We have four songs now. And you and have a new material. Yes, now. yes. We, we working on that, and probably we are recording this, these songs uh, around September, I hope. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, tell me, you have now new material. To be the same uh, stuff, just like a uh, two first album in the EP, or be the different. Uh? Um, yeah, you know, it's not. A It's not gonna be totally different from our previous albums, but it's gonna be an evolution on it. And we are putting some more double kick on it. And you know, uh, oh yeah, it's not necessarily faster, but you know, Chris is pretty good as, at double kick, and it's something we. We already did it for the last album, Circle of Molesters, uh, but, you know, it's, um, we like to change a little bit on our game, but probably, it's probably not gonna be... Probably the sound be. now is more dirty, I think, and more brutal. Yeah, That's it's... the way we want to do. That. Yeah, we're trying to get in it a little bit more brutal, more played as well, you know. Um, you need to have fun while playing and to try some new stuff and hopefully people are gonna like it. I don't know. It's not gonna be exactly the same as our previous releases. But uh, it has some, it has some little changes in it, but it's not gonna go anywhere else, you know. It's, it's still be focused on our stuff and hateful and filthy stuff, but with some new twist, basically. Yeah. yeah. Who working uh, uh, lyrics? Marco is. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm a singer, I'm basically writing lyrics and finding lyrics for the songs, you know. Uh, most of the times 
everything starts from riffs and from music and I kind of find a mood for the song once it's already written for guitars and bass and drums and I come out with some ideas and some concepts and I just develop them following the music basically but it's um, yeah you know some some music we write uh, inspires me some some arguments or some stuff and so I think it the lyrics inspiration for our lyrics uh, eh? I don't know you know uh, our band is basically a way to go through all of our frustrations and our life <laughs> Yeah, our sometimes fucked up lives, and we kind of pour out over our all of the shittiest part of our lives through our music, and transforming it into something evil and huge, and as filth as possible, and and so lyrics are basically about um, I don't know being sometimes being a loser being a person with no way out or stuff like that it's something each one of us can pass through and it's you know playing this sort of music it's a good way to channel these negative stuff through the music and not be overwhelmed by this shit, you know. And who is the influence in your music when the Bianca were the take it uh, inspiration from? Uh, you know, our influences are so many, I can't tell. You know, we're into mostly uh, every, every, every kind of extreme music. Each one of us, uh, someone is more into death metal, some other into black metal or doom metal or whatever. Uh, but it's not just all about metal anyway. Uh, we like, you know, true music, uh, music coming from the heart and music that tells something basically true music you know so it can be punk uh, hard rock or whatever yeah, you know grew up with a lot of punk and hardcore we all grew up you know basically a hardcore punk scene or and you know with metal but not necessarily metal as well yeah. you know it's just music that comes from the earth of people and true music basically we love the true if you know what I mean bands you know people that are not doing it for entertainment or for fun uh, people that are real and put it into music you know we're not artists we are just I don't know artisans or something like that we are crafting our stuff with yes. instruments uh, so yeah it's basically something true yeah uh, tell me yeah. it's our influence yeah. basically. tell me you are first time here in Metal Days Festival yes for me it's the first time and it's amazing we have a lot of fun very good band playing yeah. and before the B this summer you going to the festivals and other no we I don't have any plan about that yeah, and tell me who is the plan in the future, man. And now you tell me you have new materials. Uh, maybe uh, the finishing album after to go into the tour and. Or oh yeah, we're working on new material. Um, we're writing some new stuff. Probably, we, uh, hopefully, we will have a new EP coming out uh, next year and. 
hopefully a couple of splits with other bands we really like. Uh, we're touring Europe with a 16 band. US band. 16. California, yeah. San Diego, right? And we really love them. We already toured with them a couple of years ago. And so it's going to be a great time. It's a two weeks European tour. Nice. It's going to be great. And yeah, we're always working on new stuff, you know. You have to move forward, yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have video promotion clips to now? Or? No, at the moment, no. No, only live performance in the YouTube. Yes. Uh, um. Oh, yeah. Uh, we are not really into. We are not so good at promoting ourselves, yeah. you know. Yeah. We we don't like uh, stuff that is already planned or stuff like that, you know. Um, it's basically it's something that I don't know. We're probably missing. I don't know, but you know we can't fake it. And we play music just for because we are this way and it's hard for us to put up a set or something like that yeah. faking it you know uh, so it's basically music yeah. but you have a signature with the levels oh yeah level we music, are so we're working. on uh, Argento Records oh, it's a yeah, Dutch yeah. label mm -hmm. it's from Holland and mm -hmm. We, we've been signed to a U.S. label, Force Field Record as well back in the days, Mark Green from UK, but now we're on Argento Records, it's from a friend of ours, you know, uh, it's Mike, a guy from the band The Secret, and he's a great dude, he's doing a great job. Uh, the album did pretty well, uh, and we it's sold out now, so he sold a lot of copies. And he, did, he did a great job, and hopefully, uh, we know our next releases are gonna be with him because of friendship. And you never know. I don't know if some huger labels are gonna show up. Who knows? Yeah. But we we'll think about it. But we're totally happy with it. And he's he's done a great job, so we're happy with it. And next release will one of our next release will be, of course, with him. Yeah. And check his catalog as well, Argento Records. A lot of cool bands, you know, black metal and Nature, Fairfield, yeah. Moloch. A lot of great, great bands, yeah. Great bands from all around, you know, Europe and US as well, and Eastern Europe. So it's an yeah. underground scene growing up and pretty awesome bands. So, yeah. Yeah. And for the end, would you like it to say for Macedonian fans uh, <laughs> and uh, I don't know. everything? People who Thanks for watching, guys. Right? And. Sorry for thanks our for shit Italian English. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And thanks to you, man. Yeah. Really. Thanks.